All right, let's go fishing. When you come across a card where you can fish, you're gonna see bait. And in this case, you can get a horsefly for free, a whistle cricket for one gold, and a stinkworm for two. Now, I have three gold right now, um, and I don't wanna blow it all. So I'm gonna get a horsefly for free. There's one in stock, and a whistle cricket for one gold. There's one of those in stock. So I'm gonna spend my one gold, and I'm going to grab the two associated colors for the bait, which we now have. And what's gonna occur is you're gonna be pulling the uh, fishing cards. Now these represent fishing spots on the creek, on Cobble Creek. Um, each one you can cast a line out on. So we can look at these stats here. So it takes one bullseye, accuracy of four, which means that we're gonna roll four dice. Sets is one, so that means you're gonna go through the process once. And these are the sides of the dice I can use to make a bullseye. So in this case, I'm going to take both bait and put them on the same card to double my chances on that card. You can do that, or you could split them up, but I'll do this. So let's put those aside for now. We're going to concentrate on this one. Take my four shot dice and I'll roll. All right, so this is a great start. Pretty much all we need. We have made a bullseye. You only need one to get a bite. These other two we really don't need. And we also really don't need to do a wild shot, but we're gonna do it anyhow since you're supposed to. That's how you end a set. Now this means whoopsie, and it means that something here needs to be pulled off. It's a scratch. Since I have two that I'm not using, it really doesn't matter, but I'll, we'll just do it for formality's sake. We're gonna get this one out of here. We'll take this off of here. We're left with this. So here's our bullseye that we used. So this indicates that we did get a bite. So now we're gonna reveal this card. <laughs> and you can see that um, up here, it indicates what bait can be used to actually catch this fish. And it's not what we have. We needed to have bought the stink worm for $2 or two gold, and we didn't. So unfortunately, we got a bite, but the crystal bass got away. Had we caught the crystal bass, we would have had a dice upgrade for our wild shot, but that didn't happen. So anyhow, that is how you fish. Now, there's a little bit of a difference when you fish with two player. That being if we had two bait and you wanted to split them up, we could have player one fish on this one and player two fish on this one. Now, if we wanted to do what I just did and have them both on the same card, only one player would cast out. One player per fishing spot. So it's kind of up to you guys how you want to do that. And um, that's really it.